All right, guys, welcome to your seventh computer networking tutorial. And now that we understand what a server is, I want to explain exactly how it works. And also, it'll help me explain this thing called clients and host. Because you guys have probably heard about hosts before, but you may not know exactly what they are. So hopefully, I can clear that up. So, a very simplistic model of the internet would look something like this. We would have a bunch of PCs, we'll say that this is a Windows PC, and uh, we'll say, you know, this is a laptop, I'll draw it a little differently. It's a pretty good looking laptop, and I don't know, maybe we have a Mac over here. Alright, and I don't know, maybe a MacBook later, somewhere else, or something like that. But basically, all of these things you may hear them referred to as workstations. Workstations are basically home computers, laptops, Macs, whatever you want to call them. Now we already know, aside from that, that servers, let me get a good color for it, servers are special computer. We'll say that this is a web server. We'll say that this is uh, my server for my website, the New Boston. The new Boston.org. Now, believe it or not, my web server is actually in Texas. There is a special computer in Texas that's storing all of my web files. So, whenever you go to newboston.org, basically what's going to happen is this server is going to give you some files. So, let's go ahead and talk about that process right now. Say that this is you and you're watching this YouTube video on a laptop right now. Now, you decide that you want to go to my website because you heard about it in this video and you want to check it out. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to type in the newboston.org in your browser. Hopefully you're using, you know, Google Chrome. So you're going to type in the newboston.org and your browser is basically going to go through, you know, your internet provider. It's going to go through your modem, routers, all that stuff. But it's finally, and we'll talk about, you know, exactly how your router knows to talk to my web server. That's a complicated process. But basically you're going to eventually get to my server right here and what your computer is basically asking is can I see the new boston.org or basically can you send me some files from this server and send them to my computer right here so that I can see this website in my web server hopefully you know if it's not down or anything it's gonna say yes here you go so it's basically gonna take those files which is basically data and send it over wire or wireless and you're gonna get those files on your computer right here now those files are just a bunch of text and random computer symbols that are easy to transfer over this com communications media but you can't really understand them and that's the job of your browser the job of Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome, whatever you're using, it's the job to interpret those files in the and pretty much interpret them from, you know, computer text to symbols such as pictures and text and videos, whatever it is that you can see. So basically one more time, servers are special computers that everyone in the world can access. Now whenever you want to see my website, for example, you send a request to my server and you basically ask, can I see your website, can you send me the web files? And then my server automatically takes those files and sends them to your computer so now your computer has those files. And your web browser interprets those files and turns it into text and pictures and all the cool stuff that makes up a web page. So that's basically how a very simple server works and I know I was go I said I was gonna go over client and host in this tutorial but I'm gonna wait to the next tutorial because it'll make a whole lot of sense so thanks for watching and make sure to check out the next video